this week at Tech at IT Pro, a lot of what we're going to be talking about is going to revolve around how we are going to educate and help our, our IT professionals understand how they can leverage both the, the on-premise software and services from the cloud to address today's needs as well as prepare for tomorrow. You know, as we look back to what we announced and talked about at, at Tech Ed in June in Orlando, a lot of that centered around detailing more details of our long-term vision about how we help IT become more of a strategic asset and less of a cost center. The vision is called Dynamic IT. Well, since June, with the economic challenges that are really just beginning to come to light right now, there really is increasing pressures on IT around the world. It's a global phenomena to really make tough decisions and, and, and do the things that really help advance the business. And you know, we think right now with the tools that are available, that customers can make these tough decisions, can continue to invest, and through those investments, get new customers, increase the, the infrastructure to really become a strategic asset, and really move forward and come out of these economic challenges stronger than they were before. You know, this year's keynote, we're really gonna focus on helping IT professionals understand what they can do given the realities of the economic climate. You know, at Microsoft, we're, we're experiencing a lot of this ourselves. We have some of the largest uh, data centers in the world, and we're taking those learnings, and we're taking that experience and, and turning that into technology and, and into products that, that can help you know, uh, companies around the world. There really are some substantial new, new, new capabilities coming that really drive big, big benefits. I'm just gonna touch on four of them. One of them is live migration. So as a core part of the virtualization as part of Hyper-V inside of Windows Server 2008 R2, live migration will be a core feature that's there that everyone can start to take advantage of, of immediately. This is actually one of the most anticipated and most requested capabilities we've had of, of, of this new version of Windows Server coming out. And the benefit there is now IT professionals can move VMs and, and do their consolidation with zero downtime to their end users. Really, really a great feature. Another thing that we've been working on for quite some time now is what we call direct access. This allows your end users anywhere in the world to be able to access securely the corporate assets that are behind your firewall just if they have the, the 2008 capabilities. Again, decreasing the amount of, of, of things you have to manage, decreasing the number of things your end users have to understand about the working environment. It just works. Another capability we have coming is what we call branch cache. Again, you know, we, 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 we hear requests from customers, help me take advantage of the assets I have in my branch office and help me decrease the amount of bandwidth that I need to have between my central offices and my branch offices. Finally, we've, we've done a lot of work, which we think is very unique and is unique on the market, with how we can do power management at the hypervisor. And again, you know, we hear from our customers in Europe, power management is one of the biggest things that they're concerned about. So we've worked hard with the hardware vendors. We actually have done some things that allow us to take advantage of capabilities in the hardware and dramatically decrease the cost of, of using virtualization with Hyper-V. You know, one of the things that we really hear often from customers is they want to take advantage of the cloud services. They want to take advantage of the benefits of the cloud. But they constantly tell us, there are some scenarios where cloud makes sense, but on-premise makes sense. I want to have that choice. So Microsoft has worked really hard to enable that choice. I would say there's three things I would hope the IT professionals walk away with from the keynote. The first one is Microsoft is making significant investments in virtualization, and we feel that we are a, a, an industry leader in how we think about virtualization. We'll be demonstrating live migration. We'll be demonstrating virtual machine manager managing uh, a VM deployment uh, of, of VMware, as well as a Microsoft Hyper-V deployment, and showing this commitment that we have to cross-platform management. Along the lines of cross-platform management, the second thing I would, I would hope that IT professionals walk away with is seeing our commitment to extend System Center to manage more than Windows. So we be, we'll be demonstrating System Center Operations Manager monitoring Linux and Solaris and non-Windows platforms and talk about how we're working with the open source community and actually giving back technology to the community. And that's one of the common requests we hear from the European customers is, tell us how you're going to manage non-Windows and tell us how you're going to work broadly with the community. And then the third thing you're going to see us talking about is detailing and actually demonstrating our vision of how you can consume on-premise and online services. 